compaction is one of the construction tasks that takes place on practically every construction project. Whether it is densifying fill beneath the slab on the ground, or compacting the clay core of an earthen dam. Therefore, it is important that we understand how compaction works, and the good news is that the theory and practice is relatively simple. There are three things that we need to know. Firstly, what do we mean by compaction, or what is its definition? Two, how do we execute and monitor the compaction process to ensure that the finished product meets the engineer's specifications? And three, what is the theory behind soil compaction? To begin, compaction is defined as the increase in soil density due to the expulsion of air, and this is done by mechanical means. Compaction is not to be confused with consolidation, which is the increase in soil density as a result of expulsion of moisture. As we saw earlier, this is a time-dependent process controlled by the permeability of the soil. There are many techniques for compacting soil. Here are some of the more common methods. For coarse-grained soils such as sands and gravels, smooth drum rollers are popular, and for small areas, Whacker plates may be used. For fine grained soils such as clays, sheep's foot rollers or pneumatic rollers are more popular. This equipment is typically effective for relatively shallow lifts of soil, in the order of 250 mil loose lifts. For deeper compaction of coarse grained soils, an impact roller may be used. These are effective up to depths of approximately 1 meter and have a much higher operating velocity than the smooth drum roller, so they're much more efficient. Even greater depths of compaction can be achieved by using dynamic compaction or fibrofiltration techniques. Although these methods have limitations when operating close to existing structures. I encourage you to read the literature and search the internet for additional information and videos on the compaction process. We will now turn our attention towards the theory of compaction. But first, a quick quiz question. 